Hi everybody, I'm Jason from As One Guidance, and today I want to talk about this gift of separation, uh, this gift of this twin flame journey, and having gratitude for all of this, and how that can propel you forward at an enormous rate, and I'll explain all of this because it might seem absolutely crazy to some people to be grateful for uh, going through this hell at this time. However, there is an explanation for it all and there is a lesson for it all. So let's dive in. So when, when I was in a relationship with my twin, I... It was, you know, it was amazing. Um, all across the board, it was, you know, a fantastic experience. Uh, but we both wanted more. Both wanted more from each other. We both called in more expansion from each other, more love, more understanding, more compassion, more communication. Uh, you name it. We were calling in more. Uh and that hit a period of, well, I don't know how to give more. I don't, I don't understand myself enough to give more. I don't love myself enough to give more love than I am already giving. And that's where the divide, that's where the separation came. Um, and... You know, in the beginning, it's very, very hard to be grateful for something like that. But uh, for lack of a better word, it forces you to take on this journey and take on really, really loving yourself. Loving yourself so much in order to be back in, in union, in a harmonious union with, with your twin. Because that wasn't present before. What what you were tr what I was trying to do, and the and the amount of love that we were trying to give each other, we couldn't we couldn't do without this journey coming into, uh, you know, this is this is my specific path, and our specific path. However, we couldn't we had to do this. This was our path uh, in order to reunite. And all along the way, it's taught me so much about loving myself uh, and going inside myself to places that I would have never thought to go or I, I would have never thought to heal uh, in order to love myself, in order to get to where I want to go, in order to have what I want to have, in order to... Uh, really, truly fill that desire within my heart. And so having gratitude and not just for this journey, but, but having gratitude for everything in your life that is teaching you something is, is expanding you're expanding from that. You're not playing a victim to uh, something that is being done to you. You're, you're taking a situation and you're learning from it and you're learning to love yourself and you're learning to spread that love, uh, you know, in your sphere or, you know, in a greater sphere as you keep expanding. So imagine, I'll use an example, um, if, it's, if what I'm saying is a little bit hard to wrap your head around about uh, really having gratitude for something that seemingly has destroyed your life or, you know, <laughs> wherever you seem to be on your journey. Um, so let's just say uh, you are, you want to be a professional athlete. It doesn't matter what what sport or what game or anything like that. 
uh, but you desire to be a professional athlete. And you hire a coach and you know that for a year you are going to train every day with this coach. Now, uh, you know, this coach is, you know, giving you exercises um, to train yourself for uh, what ultimately is a tryout for, you know, this, uh, you know, this sport that you're trying to take on. And all along the way, you, the coach doesn't, doesn't really challenge you. Uh, he's not really teaching you anything. Um, he's just, or, you know, they are just uh, patting you on the back, uh, saying, great job, you're doing it perfectly. Uh, there's nothing you should change about about uh, your form or what you're doing, um, you know, you're gonna you're gonna knock this you're gonna knock this tryout out of the park. Uh, it's it's a guarantee. It's a done deal. And as you start to as you go along this year a uh, year of training, uh, you believe that oh wow this is this is so easy. I don't you know I'm just doing what what it is that I'm doing uh, without really trying or exerting myself in at all and it's coming so easy to me uh, so the day of the tryout comes and you start you know you you go through the tryout and you fail miserably like every single person there is better than you um, you just completely blow it because what you're trying to do is just skate through it. You know, you're trying to skate by on what you, what, you know, the assets that you think are going to qualify you for this certain thing instead of really getting constructive, you know, really wanting to know the truth, really going in deep, diving in deep getting contrast, having somebody that is going to, no matter what, tell you straight up and call you out on anything. And that is what your twin flame is. That is the, te that is the kind of teacher that your twin flame is. It doesn't matter whether you think that that you're super perfect in every single area if you if you're not super perfect in that area at your core your twin flame will teach you the truth will show you the truth in order for you to heal it this isn't something that is they're doing to hurt you this isn't something that they're doing to uh, give you a hard time. They're doing this to love you because they they love you beyond what you can comprehend at this moment. You know, it's not it's not the easy way there. There's going to be. A lot of times where you're called out on your shit because you're not loving yourself and your twin flame does not care if it hurts your feelings or if it hurts your ego or if it or whatever it does because it's they are not being hurtful at all they're showing you the truth they're teaching you every single step of the way when you can understand that they are with you every single step of the way, they're constantly teaching you every single step of the way, it becomes so much easier. It's so much, and it flows very, very easy. Like a lazy river, it flows. And so that's what I mean by having gratitude. Because without without them teaching you, without them doing exactly what it is they're doing, 
they're making you love yourself in every area possible that you aren't loving yourself. That is true love. That is something that no one else would do for you. They are giving you an amazing gift. Because when you come out the other side, think about how amazing it will be to be with them. That you'll be free and clear. Naturally, there's, there's always, uh, th there are always going to be things that you're mirroring with, within each other to heal in order to love yourself more. But when you get into union and get into harmonious union, imagine how amazing that relationship is going to be. There's, it's unspeakable. What you went through together, whether you believe that you've done it together or not at this moment, you, you've done it together, and what what you've gone through with each other is is something that there that no one could ever take away from you that connection no matter where you are and where your twin is how long you've talked how long uh, it's been since you've seen each other that connection cannot be severed by anything at all by nothing it is a soul connection you can't take a really sharp knife and slice it in two and you go your separate ways. You can't take a laser beam and slice it in two. There's nothing that can sever that connection. <coughs> when you believe that you're being taught lessons through what they're showing you, through their, through their actions... You line up. Now it's now it's easy. Now I can now I can heal myself and rapidly go forward and move move forward at a rapid pace. So I would love to help you move forward at a rapid pace as well. So please visit asoneguidance.com for my coaching services. Sign up for a free 15-minute consultation. Uh, Subscribe to my channel and have a great day.